was in better shape then. You're still in good shape. Who are you talking to? What's his name? Who I worked with. Oh. You're. Uh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine today. Very how you, good. That's how you feeling? Good. Beautiful. Very, very good. Very like the weather, beautiful. No, well, it's today. It's not bad, but Thursday was very, very bad. A real snowstorm. Do you know we had 45 centimeters of snow? which was the biggest snowfall for one day in history. Really? Montreal, yes. 45 centimeters, wow. Yeah. It was un but you couldn't move. We I, stayed at home all day. Me too. I actually tried to go to work, yes. and, and it was a whiteout. It was yes. actually, I couldn't see in front of me. Nobody went to work on Thursday. It was mad, and it, was, it lasted all day long. I didn't stop, yes. It started about 2 in the morning, Two in the morning, and it lasted all day, all yeah. day on Thursday. So and in Laval, they did a good job. They're cleaning it very nicely. So, uh, oh, you yes. have uh, one of our um, one of your followers or people who like to watch you. Yes, we'll call him Stephen yes. C. Yes, he had a question. Yeah, last but... week we were talking about God, right? Remember? Yes, yes. And I said, Does God control you and, and your actions? And you said, yes. yes. So his question is, if that's if that's true, why would God allow a person to go into a school and shoot up children? Yes, it's or the question is why would the holy cause exactly like why would they exactly and killed six million maybe more so I you know it's a hard question and I have no answer and the gen the guy who went into that school uh, he snapped the brain snapped but. What the president has to do in every school in the United States, put a security yeah, guard, but close the doors at 9 o'clock, put a security guard in every entrance, make sure they know what they're doing, and don't let anybody in, and he should check with the principal who's got a list of all the kids' names throughout the school. With the guns, people are still going to get guns no matter what he does. But that's what my thing is. He's got to put security guards in every entrance in every school. And not only in the United States, but in North America. Yes. Well, yeah, that's, I know, but that's like uh, pretty ugly to see when, uh, you know, you're driving up to a school, a public school, and you see armed guards. Not it's armed not guards, a security, uh, a retired police officer who knows his way around, a, a retired FBI agent who needs part-time work from 9 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. It's when actually the, a good idea. I, think, I think it's a good idea. And the school closes till the buses takes the kids home. Yeah. That's what they he has to do. But you That's, know what? That yeah. seems like a band-aid. It doesn't seem like it's I mean, it does it will help. I'm sure a lot of a lot of unnecessary deaths will not take place because of that. But I don't think that's the answer. Well, I don't know what's the answer. That's the only answer. Because well, in Israel, yeah. that's what they have in every school. Well, they have to. Yes. It's, it's way different So there. in the U.S., there's copycats, and the brain snaps, and uh, a doctor, psychiatrist, yeah. have to let the authorities know what's happening Go to the parents and check these people out who threaten and the brain snaps on them. Psychiatrists got to go to the proper authorities to report these people. That's my solution and still put security Yeah, but people. you know what? We were just looking at a guy who looked totally normal yeah. and he was talking to himself well, and laughing. Yeah. Who's to say... Who's to say he wouldn't snap and well, shoot us? Well, you know? it's got to be reported then. 
he must go. Yeah, but for all we know, he's an innocent guy who's just well, as a, you know, and he was. He walked well, right by us and left. Yeah. No, so no. you're saying, you know, you, you, it, it's in hindsight, it's very easy to say the things you're saying. Yes. But this kid showed no, nothing as if he was going to kill anybody. Well, he, one, he killed somebody, I think he killed his brother years ago. Are you sure about yeah, that? Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think I didn't he hear did. anything about that. Yeah, yeah. And he went to a psychiatrist or a doctor. How did he kill his brother? Yes. Are you sure? I'm not sure, but I, I think he did. Well, I'm going to look more into this. Look I want to know, because if he did, then, then, obviously, this kid had a problem. Yes, he has a problem, and it has to be rectified, exactly. Anything else speaking to be of Israel discussed? speaking of Israel what what how do you feel about the current situation there well I hope everything straightens out I'd like to see everything straightened out in the Middle East and I would be very very happy do you think it should be a two-tiered state or whatever you call it I don't know I didn't look into it that much but like Palestine and Israel to be friendly yes yes but do you think the Palestinians should have a, an actual state well if you give them maybe too much territory I don't know what would happen I can't read the minds that's why the Israeli government knows what they're doing I'm not a politician there so I'm going to stay pat on that question I really can't answer but what I would like to see, yes, they get together, peace, no fighting, kids involved, that no kid should get hurt on their side and the Israeli side. So I'd like to see peace happening in the Middle East, and I'd be very happy, yes. Okay. Other than that, I don't want to get involved in politics. Now. Let's end on a very nice note. That was nice. Okay. Yes. Anything else you have to ask me? No, that's about it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Have a nice... You're on vacation till the 14th of January. Yeah, two and weeks. And I'm on holidays till January the 7th. So I'm looking forward... Hey, tomorrow night is New Year's Eve. And after... At 12.01, it will be 2013. God willing, health and happiness. It should be for the year 2013. Wish all your followers a health and happy and new yes, year. Yes, followers, health and happiness. And we should all be together for coming 2014 and have a healthy and happy new year and thank you very very much for watching, watching and us. please keep watching we love yeah. making these videos don't stop don't stop because only good things are gonna happen for the year 2013 on that note have a happy new year and a healthy new year say goodbye daddy goodbye daddy